Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the period of January 18th to, I'm sorry, January 25th. Sorry, to January 31st. I'm still in this week. January 25th to January 31st. If it resonates with your personal reading, just send me an email or a DM and we can make that happen. Otherwise, click on the link below for a weekly extra. In that, we'll have your love, your career, your finances, and your health. Let's get to your reading, Holy Spirit Angels. Those are my notes. I might actually write titles down during this reading. So, Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your career, your music, your Pisces for the period of January 25th to January 31st? What do you see? What do they need to know to help them reach your heart, ground, and come closer to the universe and closer to divine through your messages? The messages you have would be greatly appreciated, and we thank you for Pisces. What do you see? What do they need to know for the period of January 25th to January 31st? What are the energies that Pisces passed out of prior to January 25th? We have the King of Cups in reverse. Aquarius got the same card in the same position. Check out my playlist in there on my 2021 Sun Moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? And what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? We have the High Priestess in the upright for energies to expect the week of January 25th. Ask me a question, instant go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. And the last week of January, we have the Page of Pentacles in reversed. <sighs> Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's going on here? Okay. I'm not getting the same... <sighs> I'm getting the you're the king of cups in reverse, actually. Something went on prior to the last week of January, and you're having a really hard time getting a grip of your emotions. Be really careful of that. Don't let your emotions kind of guide you in any actions that you do, um, because there's going to be a reaction that comes from that, and then there's going to be consequences and all that great stuff. I mean, I know it's really hard um, for you guys to do. I don't want to make a blanket statement like that, but that's what I'm kind of seeing, that you're very emotional, um, that, that and some of you might be being a little bit over a t over the top to kind of influence a situation you know going one way or the other so just kind of be careful of that but I just feel like you're having a hard time keeping your feelings in check in regards to a situation um the high priestess is here for the week for the last week of I think my clarifiers I need to have something in my hands for the last week of January and what I'm kind of getting from that is I feel like this is somebody who comes in and says to you, hey, you know what? Um, and, and I feel like this is somebody you're very connected to. So even though the high priestess can be about um, listening to your inner voice or what have you, I feel like this is an outside person that comes in and they're really good. They're a very spiritual person. They're very good at talking you down. They're very good at talking, um, you know, saying to yourself, you know, um, appealing to your inner child, appear, appealing to your um, spirituality and saying, look, you know, maybe this isn't a good look. How can, you know, or maybe this isn't a good feeling for you, for you where you are at right now. What can we do to kind of make this better? I get a very soothing kind of energy from them. I feel like they encourage you to kind of delve, um, try to figure out where this is coming from and then make a decision on how you kind of want to move forward. So they're, they're getting you to explore things in a very spiritual sense. This could actually be a light worker of some sort. So this could be a spiritual person um, that you're coming to and you're seeking guidance from them because you're kind of lost and you don't know what to do. Um, and, and you need that calming and you need that kind of soothing sort of going on. As you move out of the last week, I'm almost... I'm feeling as though, okay, fine, you got all sized up like in a spiritual sense, but now I kind of feel as though you don't really know um, how to kind of move forward. Uh, I, I feel I feel as though um, you don't have a plan in place. I feel as though you're a little bit lost. Um, not grounded is another kind of word I'm getting you know, just kind of floating and, and not kind of knowing what's going on. So even though you eased your spirit, you eased your, um, you know, emotional condition or whatever you had going on, now practically you're having difficulties moving forward. Like, where do I go now in a practical sense? Uh, to me, it's always like a, a triangle, you know, spiritual, mental, physical health. And sometimes, you know, we work on, on two and we hope that the, and usually the third one does kind of fold in and maybe that's what we're kind of hoping is going to happen here. But in, in this sense, 
I don't know, I, I feel kind of floating, kind of lost, not knowing like physically, tangibly what to do, what direction to kind of go in, what your goals are. Um, why is the King of Cups here in reverse for Pisces? Energies prior to the last week of January. Who is this person? What is the energy? Additional message for King of Cups in reverse for Pisces. The Two of Pentacles, so you have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, you have the King of Pentacles in reverse, and you have the uh, Nine of Pentacles in the upright. So I, I feel like you aren't comfortable with this state that you're in, that we talked about, and it really is, you try really hard to not be like this. It's a struggle for you. I feel like for your emotions not to get the best of you is like trying to hold your head above water. The Two of um Two of Pentacles to me a lot of times is when somebody's, it, it's the duck in the pond. So the calm duck in the pond is what I call it. And I actually got it for my sister. It's when the duck looks very calm on the surface, but if you were to look underneath the water, he is, he's a frantically kind of, um, you know, moving his legs so that he can stay afloat. So really the what you're seeing on the surface is kind of a facade from him. And I feel like in order for you to do this, you really have to try hard. You have to try harder than most people. You did have to try harder than most people it really is a challenge for you not to let your emotions get the best of you i actually feel like um and it, it to me it's a it's sort of like a habit it's it's where you're comfortable so being like this is where you tend to be comfortable and it's really hard for you to kind of break out of this um i feel like you're very set in your ways you're used to this kind of behavior from whatever it comes from and it's just kind of like your go-to but i don't think you're happy about it i think it's a, it's a struggle for you to maintain like a a a certain or project a certain front to other people where inside you're just all mishmashed up and what you're projecting, I feel like, is the Nine of Pentacles, the whole, I don't need anybody, I'm fine on my own, I'm doing wonderfully, I'm independent, I'm single, I'm totally capable, I got this, I'm going to handle this, I'm fine. And I feel like that's what you project, um, that um, you're very self-sufficient in that regard. But I feel like underneath, that is not the case. And it, it really is hard for you to keep on maintaining that. And, and it's not a bad way to be. I'm just feeling this is somebody who's having a really hard time holding it together under the surface. Might be a cry for help, might be, um, you know, I, I did, I, I kind of got, it, got it, it's like a cry for help in a way, but like nobody's seeing it because you keep it so well hidden. Um, yeah, and then that would make sense that with the high priestess, because I feel like you seek out somebody, um, somebody's advice in regards to this could be even a therapist, a counselor of some sort. Why is the high? It's an all-knowing person in a spiritual and a mental sense. I feel like why is the high priestess here in the upright? Who's this person? Who's this person? What's this energy? Why are you showing us the high priestess in the upright? Or okay, lovers card in reverse. Okay, so you go and talk to this person, or this person connects with you. Maybe they see that you're hurting. Maybe they see that you need healing. And they it, it are very soothing to you. So they want to work with you on your inner strength and managing your insecurities and managing these things inside of you. Um, this is the card of Leo, if that resonates. But see how this um, woman is soothing this beast? I feel like this is what this person is. They're very, um, you know, like, it's okay. We'll figure this out. There's just inside of, you know, I'll teach you how to build yourself up. And, and empower yourself and all this other stuff. You can talk to me. This person, very, I keep on getting soothing, very soothing. Um, lover's card in reverse is a card of Gemini. And I feel as though the reason why you go to this person is because it affects your relationships. So for some reason, because of the way you are, um, a lot of your relationships end up in you being misunderstood and then arguments happen or separations occur or um, breakups occur or things like that. And you, and you don't want it to be like that anymore. You want to be understood. You want to be calm. You want to have inner strength this person is really integral in your healing whoever they are because i see the five of cups in reverse and this is a card of recovering coming out of this misery this suffering um starting to feel hopeful about yourself again and and suffering so um whoever this person is um if you haven't encountered them this week, you need to seek them out because I, I feel they're integral to getting you to a better place okay um page of pentacles i'm still getting that even though um you know the the two points are fine you're still kind of lost in regards to 
how to move forward, but I'm not seeing quite how. Why is the Page of Pentacles here in reverse for Pisces? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages. Okay, three of cups in the upright. Eight of pentacles in the upright. All right. Um. Okay, so, so, and what I'm just getting as you move out, your friends are trying to fix you, okay? Um, I think they're well-meaning. I think they're trying to lift you up. They're trying to make you happy. You know that when you're, you're kind of lost or whatever, they're like, hey, we're here for you. If you need to talk, you know, we'll cheer you up. We'll, you know, whatever. It is well-meaning as they are. Um, but with the Eight of Pentacles and the Upright, I'm getting that you're kind of saying to them, this is something I need to do on my own. I appreciate that you're there for me, but I need to figure this out. And it, I feel like it's a very personal project to you. Um, it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of patience, but you kind of want to get to a certain level. And again, like you want to do it on your own. And with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I'm getting that you are keeping to yourself. So you're not going out of the house. You're not going to these parties. You're not meeting up with friends or anything. You're being a homebody. You're working very hard and you're doing the work to kind of come out of this so you can figure out how to get grounded because you don't want to have to like burden anyone or rely on anybody and you kind of want to take whatever you got from this person and and kind of make it work in a sense um in a, in a physical sense okay if that makes sense this is a really spiritual reading so it might not reach a lot of you um i just get it to cry for help you meet the right person and then this person helps you enough that you actually work on what you need to work on and and it's a personal project and everybody else just needs to be patient with you during the interim so that is what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can definitely work that out. Click on the link below for your weekly extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. Also check out my playlist. In there are my 2021 sun moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, I'll see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.